This was supposed to be a study motivation vlog, and yet it's not. Instead, it's an investment of your time. It's not a video where I'm going to talk directly to the camera or show you what I'm buying at the grocery store. It's not even a motivational video that makes you feel guilty about procrastinating. Instead, it's designed to help you want to study. Just study motivation. But first, why do we watch study motivation videos? I watch them. You're watching one right now. They're strange for two reasons. First, it's procrastination in disguise for both of us. Me, who's filming and typing up and editing and designing this video when I could be writing my essay, should be writing my essay. And you, who maybe clicked on this because you've got work to do and you just feel too exhausted inside to do it. But more importantly, study motivation. It's something that we all struggle with. Something that we all share. Something that no matter who you are, you're not alone in. Whether you're a 15-year-old girl studying for her SATs in Denver, Colorado, or a 60-year-old taking classes to finish the degree that they began decades ago. Because studying is hard. It's a shame, really, because some things are so painfully easy. Wouldn't the world be a far better place, far more efficient, far more advanced, if we found it difficult to open up our phones and scroll through TikTok, and easy to sit down at our desks and study the subject that we choose to study? What if convincing yourself to work for hours at a time in order to do well on one exam were as simple as relaxing in bed and closing your eyes? After all, we choose our major in college. We chose the subjects that we're taking right now. We are actively working every day to study for something that we plan on working within for the rest of our careers. The rest of our careers. That's serious. So... Why do we need motivation for something that we're devoting our lives to? I'm writing the scripture of this video when I should be sleeping, which is maybe why this is getting more philosophical than usual. But I want this to show the breadth of studying, the ways it can be more than a task, and even something exciting. It's a privilege to be able to study. I'm not going to pretend that I enjoy studying all the time, of course. But making a video like this one reminds me of how lucky I am, how lucky any of us are who are studying. It's an opportunity. So take that opportunity and remember why you're studying what you are. Keep the why of studying as close to your heart as you can, and that's the most motivation you'll ever need. So I'm going to walk you through how I try to implement that mantra into my life more. I want to be motivated to study. I want to love every second of learning, and I want to be on my phone less, read more, embrace the world, be open-minded. The next video I make after this one will be a real study vlog because I think it's important to be able to relate to others and to see how they go about studying. There's a reason that study motivation vlogs are a top search across YouTube. But for now, I want to take the focus off of the stress of it. Looking at someone else studying through the lens of social media makes it look like they've got their life together. It makes studying look easy. It makes studying look simple. Forget about all of that. Right now, make a list of books that you want to read. In fact, make a list of four books. It can be fiction or nonfiction. One book that's set in a time period you'd like to learn more about. One book that's set in a location you'd like to learn more about. One book that's set during a specific cultural revolution or a specific event, like a war, that you'd like to learn more about. And finally, one that's either about or written by someone who's in a subject you want to learn more about. It can be a subject you're studying or one that you've never even touched before. Botany, marine biology, linguistics, mathematics, anything you want. I'm of the opinion that there's a book for everyone. You just need to find the genre and the format, whether an ebook, print book, audiobook, whichever one works for you. How does this relate to studying? Maybe it won't seem like it at first. And definitely don't go tracking down these four books if you're already struggling to meet your deadlines. It should be fun, not stressful. But if you truly like what you're studying, you'll find yourself gravitating towards books that put what you're learning about in context. If you're studying biology, maybe you'll find yourself going down a rabbit hole about 19th century amputations. And all of a sudden, you'll find a historical fiction novel that will become your new favorite book. If you're studying political science, maybe you'll discover a dystopian book that takes to the extremes some of the ideologies you've been learning about. Reading, of course, is far from the only way to inspire yourself. Cue up the podcast you've been putting off listening to. When you're not studying, get away from your desk. I can't stress this enough. Go out and see the world. It doesn't have to be real travel either, because that can be expensive. Go marvel at the sheep in the countryside. Visit a beach. Take walks to local shops you've never explored before, or splurge and eat at a new restaurant. You'll feel all the more motivated to continue pursuing your goals. Find an icon or role model in the subject you're studying. Maybe it's just me because I have a tendency to really obsess over something I find interesting. But there's so much power in seeing firsthand how your work will pay off. If you're studying journalism, find an influential journalist you aspire to be like. 
you're spending all day working towards a degree in archaeology, then by all means admire someone who's an expert in the field, even if it's Indiana Jones. And for just today, remember why you're studying. Remember what made you want to continue with your work or education. Remember what your goal is and why you chose that goal for yourself. Studying is just one step forward towards that future. It's up to you whether you want to enjoy not just the destination, but the journey there.